For the first live report from the Cape, let's go immediately to NBC's Roy Neal at Cape Canaveral, Florida. I am just listening to the voice of Colonel John Powers in Mercury Control, who has just advised us that as of this moment, we can report to you live and direct from this vantage point at Cape Canaveral. That's pad 14. Mercury Atlas 6 is ready for launching. John Glenn is inside the spacecraft. The countdown at this moment is T minus 85 minutes. This was John Glenn earlier this morning at breakfast. They awakened him at 2.20. He shaved and showered, and for breakfast, we understand that he enjoyed such things as scrambled eggs, two of them, a filet, fruit juice, orange juice, toast, jelly, and postum. This was followed by a physical examination, and finally, he began to suit up in the pressure suit. This, perhaps, was to be the big morning. Before, he had gone through postponements patiently. He's been waiting, training here at Cape Canaveral, while all of us have been waiting patiently, we, the nation, standing by for this attempt to put the first American in orbit. And as you can see, Mr. Glenn this morning is in good condition, happy condition. A go condition is the way they describe the crew. This was the scene as he left Hangar S, an event that took place at 5.02 in the morning, Eastern time, Cape Canaveral time, ready to go to the launch pad. Well, here's Colonel John Powers now with an announcement. We are at T minus 82 minutes and counting at this time. Astronaut John Glenn is in the cockpit of the Friendship 7 spacecraft. As of this time, all systems in the Mercury Atlas 6 are in a go condition. There were delays that morning, bad weather, technical problems, not uncommon then or now. Just after 9.30, the launch was just minutes away. The MA6 countdown is at T minus 10 minutes and counting. Mercury astronaut John Glenn is reporting all of the systems in the spacecraft are go. Our status report in the control center ind indicates all systems are go. This is Mercury Control at T minus nine minutes and 45 seconds. The Florida skies are brilliantly clear here this morning. The cloud cover that had given us some worry earlier has now blown by and we seem to have at the moment uh, no problem of visibility, so I think we will see this launch for quite a long period of time. Now from that point in, the sustainer engine, the third of the big engines, will continue to burn, pushing the spacecraft now towards space itself, moving through the outer fringes of atmosphere and toward a final velocity of 17,500 miles an hour and an altitude of 100 to 150 miles. There will be a critical decision which we will hear about but not see, a decision that takes place at the end of powered flight at T plus five minutes. That's the decision of go or no go injection into orbit. It's the point in flight at which the spacecraft separates from the big booster and on separation moves into an attitude such that retro rockets could fire and thereby stop the flight at that point. This is a critical moment for Mercury Control as all moments in this final stage of the countdown are but this is where the final decision will come. Thereafter, the astronaut and his spacecraft, if the decision is go, if he's in the right trajectory, if he has the right altitude, the right speed, the right angle, if everything is fine, then he will truly be in orbit, and we can then begin to worry about first reports from the spacecraft and how is the astronaut doing. T minus one minute and counting. All systems are reported in a go condition. John Glenn reports he is ready. This is Mercury Control. If he's ready, so are we. We'll stand by, even as you, watching the picture, seeing what transpires. There's no need for further words or description here. This event will tell its own story. The story of the U.S. attempt to put American John Glenn in orbit. This is Mercury Control, the MA6 count, T minus 30 and counting. T minus 30 seconds and counting. John Powers reporting to us from Mercury Control. The Mercury spacecraft umbilical is out. We're at T-minus 19 seconds. The cords, in other words, that connect it to the ground are released. It's on its own internal power now. T-minus 10 seconds, counting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff. The MA6 vehicle has lifted off. The MA6 vehicle has lifted off. Trajectory looks good. The MA6 vehicle has lifted off. All 
three big engines burning clean and hot, pushing the Friendship 7 spacecraft ever faster toward space. Moving toward altitude 100 miles and speed 17,500 miles an hour for a planned space flight that will take Colonel John Glenn around the world in 90 minutes. Trajectory AOK -OK reports Mercury Control. History perhaps being written at this moment here at Cape Canaveral as Project Mer Mercury reaches a climax with its launching operation. And now one minute out, about 10 miles high, speed beginning to pick up into the thousands of miles the an hour range in contrail beginning to show on the sky. climbing nicely has passed through the area of maximum dynamic pressures. Pilot John Glenn is reporting all systems go.